Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to run JMeter test plan from command prompt and also we are going to generate HTML report. So prerequisite for performing this task is ant. First, I'm going to configure ant in my system. Before configuring ant, first I'm going to the command prompt and just checking do we have ant by default or not, even it's not coming. But still I'm going to check ant space hyphen version. And it is not showing that we don't have ant. So we can either download ant from internet or in previous session we have already set up Eclipse in our system. So Eclipse is coming with ant by default. So we can move to the location where we do have Eclipse. So here on this location I have Eclipse. In Eclipse we are going to get a folder. The name of the folder is Plugins. Inside that we are going to get this org Apache ant. So we can use this end to execute our test cases from the command prompt. But before that, first we need to set this end in the system environment variable. So copy this path, right click on my computer's properties, advanced system setting, environment variable. First we need to create a new environment variable. So I'm creating a new environment variable which is end underscore home and the path which we have copied of the end we need to copy the path where we have the bin directory so that path is placed in this end underscore home. So a new variable is created end underscore home. Now we need to move to the path environment variable, edit it and move at the start percentage and underscore home percentage forward slash bin and semicolon. So that is the path which I have added at the start percentage and underscore home percentage forward slash bin and then semicolon. The semicolon keep this path, newly added path, separated from the other path. So click on OK. And now ant is set to the environment variable. Start command prompt again and just check do we have ant now? So ant space hyphen version. And now we are going to get ant version means ant is set up successfully in my system. Now I'm moving to my JMeter. Here we are going to create few test cases. Right click on the test plan and first I'm going to create a thread group and name of the thread group I'm giving case 1. I want to execute this for 5 users and loop count is 2. So I'm just giving some test data and here I'm going to add two samplers so first is R1 and other sampler I'm going to add is R2 picking URL from my website so that's the R1 I'm removing HTTP colon from here and that's the second page which I want to hit so that's the second page again removing HTTP from here now I want to validate that my response should not contain error or warning so I'm going to add an assertion which is response assertion and it should not contains error it should not contain warning. Now I'm going to add a listener. So view result tree 
and apart from it I'm going to add one more listener is aggregate graph so one test case is completed I'm going to add one more test case so again a third group case 2 I want to run it for 10 users ramp up time is 5 seconds and loop is 2 here again I'm going to add a sampler that is HTTP request giving the name is R3 so I'm going to create a test plan with few cases so here two cases I have created and taking URL so this time I'm taking from load runner docs so that's the URL I'm going to use removing HTTP colon from the start so now I have two test cases like in second test case I'm going to add a listener which is view result tree also I want to do the same validation that in response we should not get error warning so adding not contains error and warning so now we have two test cases with with some samplers listener assertion i'm going to add a aggregate report as a test plan level so it's going to generate report for both the test cases clearing previous result running it so first we need to check that it's working fine from the GUI or not if working fine from the GUI then we are moving to the command prompt so executed successfully from the JMeter GUI now we need to save this test plan if you want to execute this test plan from command prompt so we need to save this test plan in the extras folder inside the jmeter directory so i'm going to file save test plan as and that's my jmeter inside the jmeter we have extras folder and i'm giving the name is load testing so name of the test plan is load testing.jmx saving it so everything is done from the gui side i want to execute this from the command prompt so i'm starting a command prompt and from the command prompt we need to move to the location where this extras folder exists inside the apache jmeter directory so here is my jmeter inside the jmeter we have extras i need to move to this location copy address and from the command prompt i'm moving to this location so i'm in the extras folder to execute the test plan we need to write and hyphen d test is equal to and the test plan name was load testing we need not to write dot jmx because it automatically understand we are executing a test plan with the extension jmx start execution so it's executing execution taking place in backend we are not going to get anything on the ui and once it is done we are going to get html report as well so let it complete first then we are going to the report if everything goes fine we are going to get build successful and if the build is successful we can move to that extras folder i'm sorting by the date so here we are getting a load testing file which is a HTML file we can open it on any of the browser 
so here it started with the browser and now we are getting the report html report as well so total 40 samples are going to the server success rate was 100 average time was this so that is the report of complete test run and here we have different pages that we have hit with the different number of users so that is the report of this individual request and we can expand it so it's going to display complete details about each and every user so ultimately we have generated html report for a jmeter test plan so by this way we have executed our jmeter test plan from the command prompt and we are getting html report as well i clear the screen we have few more options like if you want to run only if you want to run your test plan only we don't want to generate report so here we can mention only run so in that case execution will be done but we are not going to get any report it's going to show summary on this console but we are not going to get report in that case because we mentioned we just want to run it in the same way if you want to generate report only for the previous execution so we can mention just report it's not going to execute now it will take the previous execution and will generate the html report on the behalf of that so here it's generating report and everything is done we can go and check the report again over here so this time it's getting failed and it could be the reason that my server was down i was not getting response but this time it's getting failed so it's up to us that we want to generate report or we want to run only we want to generate report only or we can run and generate report as well so here in the session we have covered how we can execute our test plan from the command prompt and generate report the prerequisite was and that we have set up from the eclipse folder that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video